Hi, I'm Megan. I'm Mary. And, and we're, we're Merrigan. Welcome to our food adventures. This week on Weird Food Wednesday, we try a toffee that may live in a pineapple under the sea. We found David's Belgian Milk Chocolate All Natural Sponge Toffee at British Isles, which is, if you've seen one of our past two videos, the one on Christmas pudding and the other one on dandelion and burdock soda, then you know that we have gone there before. It is a British import store in the Houston area. And we love it. Yep. How are you feeling about all natural sponge toffee? Well, I do like Belgian milk chocolate, so that's a win. Probably the first food that I'm like, oh, I actually like that. Um, sponge toffee, I'm assuming it's going to be hard toffee. Probably mm. crunchy. I don't think it'll be bad. But see, at the same time, with it saying sponge, um, sponges tend to be soft. Think of like sponge cake. It's bouncy, but it's it soft. It is bouncy. So you think it's going to actually, it's not going to be like a hard toffee that just has holes in it? No, no, I don't think you so. Think it's going to actually be spongy? Okay. Yeah. So, are you looking forward to it? Sure. Looking forward to it. You? Mostly. I think it's going to be fine. Fancy box! It doesn't feel spongy, it feels hard. That could, chocolate shells tend to be hard though. And remember, the texture when you bite down is going to be different. Alright. Cheers! Cheers. Oh, I was right! Okay, so if anyone watching has ever tried a violet crumble, which is a, an Australian chocolate bar, same thing. So I have had sponge toffee before. I have it. Tastes, um, it's not quite like a normal uh, English toffee. It's more similar to as if it were flavored with honey. So. Chocolate's good. Mm -hmm. How many pineapples out of five would you rate this? One being, tastes like pineapple spikes. Five being, I'm going to eat this every day for a month until I'm sick of it. Don't know that I'd eat it every day for a month until I'm sick of it, so I think I'll give it 4.5 pineapples out of five. I'm going to give this a four. I liked it. I'm not entirely in love with it, but I did like it. Mm -hmm. That's it for this week's Weird Food Wednesday. Thanks for watching. Join us next week when we try another weird food. This isn't even British. It's made in Canada. How many cute Belgian boys out of five would you rate this? One being, throw that one back, he's not that cute. Five being, Alright, I'll go with a different ending. It's just funny because you're like, you know that one back, he's not that cute. <laughs> Nonsense, all Belgian boys are cute. There's probably at least one of There's bound to be, it's like, not all boys with British accents are cute. Oh god, no. Yeah, see? Alright, I apologize to any British people should this make the cut.